Welcome back, tribe. How did you like that new intro? I hope you did. It's all to all the support you've shown me. Now, if you could please go subscribe and turn on those notifications to continue to get the most up-to-date alerts about videos, merch, and everything else. I am on part three of this oxtail stew, and I am currently making the green seasoning to go inside of this stew. We're up to the part where we've cut up and butchered all of the meat. We've seasoned it, and now it's time. I'm sorry, we've marinated it, and now it's time to season it. Yeah? So, now that I made the green seasoning with all those veggies, I'm showing you how to store it so that you don't use all at once, but you can use, like, the little cubes because the egg tray makes a great measuring to kind of keep it simple. So once you put that in the freezer, fridge, cover it up, look how nicely those marinated and we're adding all the fresh ingredients and the seasonings to the oxtail now. So as you see, we've put in tomatoes, some garlic, some Worcestershire sauce, we're adding some soy sauce. It's just so many great ingredients that are marrying in to make this one of the best stews you'll ever make. So you see that's fresh thyme, fresh parsley, some garlic, some habanero, but you can use scotch bonnet as well. That's a good substitute. And that is the major pepper that they do use in the traditional Jamaican dishes. So now you want to just get all the seasonings together, marinate it for a while. Now it's ready to get on the stove and start to stew. So the brown sugar is just going to go down to a liquid form and just get ready for a good searing. Look at those pieces how seasoned they are with the fresh herbs and the actual garlic seasoning, powder, salt, and all that goodness. Now, see, look at that sear on that oxtail. That's what I'm talking about. You want to see that level of searing on all pieces as you turn them. And as you can see, marinating them in vinegar really helped. It did break down some of the membrane to make it a little softer. And now that I've gotten all of them in and they've seared, and I got the veggies in. It's time to add some water so these babies can get down to a nice simmer. This simmer is going to take about four hours in all. But for now, we're stirring in, making sure this water is hitting all the ingredients and veggies on all sides. Because we're going full throttle on this oxtail. Now, it's time to add the bay leaf. So, the bay leaf is going to bring all those spices together and give it more depth in the taste and the flavoring. It's an option. You don't have to add it. I would. It's not an option for me. I love add bay leaf, but it just takes a little. Now that that's simmering, we're going back to making the rice and peas. We're adding the traditional ingredients to make sure that we get a nice fluffy rice and peas. So there's the onions that have been chopped. And then, of course, you know what I'm saying? We have to get it back with the herbs from before. So again, I'm adding some more herbs, even though I'm going to add some green seasoning. For me, I like that fresh and natural taste. That was some habanero, or it could be scotch bonnet. Then we have the garlic, and there goes that green seasoning that goes so well within most traditional Jamaican dishes. You know, it's a must. And then the coconut milk, good Lord, it just puts a layer of fluffiness that you just cannot dispute when you make rice and peas. So now we're going back to let that simmer. And oops, let's not forget our ground cloves. My bad. Then we got the uh, actual kidney beans, which is called rice and peas or peas in reference to just, you know, it being a bean. But it is all delicious and all marries well. We put this in the oven for some times after it simmer. Back to this oxtail stewing so well. And it's coming down to where we can add the lima beans. Yes, my bad. I had to get the small ones. Couldn't find the big ones that day. I don't know why. But now it's time to plate it and put it all together. You see the fluffiness of that rice? We're able to put gently onto the rice the ox pieces of oxtails. And since we have, you know, chopped them up just like we like them, we were able to add some plantain around it just for tradition and sweetness because they all go together so well. I promise you this was one of the best recipes and I want you to tell me what you thought about it. Let's see what I thought about it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications to get the most up-to-date videos because we're going to keep the tribe vibe going. Thanks for joining me this time. I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know, comment, send me pictures. 
yeah, it was definitely. Look, you saw my expression. Oh, yeah. See you next time.